Yeah, hello customer. So some of customer they say the extruder, uh, the hot end cannot reach the target at temperature. This is because the, uh, the, the wind shroud is uh, leaking the air to the semester, to the temperature sensor. Sensor is here. So if we twist this to uh, 180 degree. So the semester, the sensor go to the front. So the wind here cannot blow to the semester. So the temperature uh, will not get down. So I will show you how to do this. So now take off the, the guide. And now we need to disassemble the two bolts on the side. One more. Okay. And uh, two of the bolts on the top. It's uh, quite long, so if uh, you may uh, do this with uh, patience. Okay. So now we can take this off. Take the plastic cover off. And uh, we have one of the M3 bolts inside which lock this uh, hot end. So if you have the long a set screw driver, so you can go through here, directly to the M3 bolts. It's inside here. Go through the fan. If you don't have, you can disassemble the, a, the fan so you can reach it right here. Goes, go inside and turn on clockwise so you can lose it okay uh, let me disassemble the, the fan so you can see it's clear on clockwise for the the bolts so we can disassemble the fan All right, the fan is off now. So you can see here, this is a set a screw, M3 set a screw. You can use 1.25 a millimeter hex wrench, this one, to lose it unclockwise. By this way, we can move the hot end out. And now the, the fan is keeps blowing from here. So if we do not um, put the guidance very tight, so it will, it, it will get the air leaking, keep blowing the sensor. So the temperature will get down uh, for the sensor. So uh, probably you cannot reach to the target temperature. So now we need to twist it for 180 degree. You see here can move to the side okay so you see never a uh, touch the two cable because this is a for heater it's a uh, quite high voltage so now we need to tighten the locking bolt clockwise all right okay by this way, we lock the belt, so the hot end is twisted. Now we reinstall the, the fan. Okay, 
It don't have to be too tight. All right, the fan is uh, well, and we, we double check if, uh, if the cables has contact each other or not. Make sure they are all clear. It's all clear. So now we install back the plastic cover. clockwise to turn the bolts. Okay, clockwise. So on the top, uh, we have this collector inverted and lock the two bolts on the side. Okay. Push. Invert it. And lock it clockwise to lock it so okay we have uh, a put the semester a uh, to the to the backward so you can see when this fan keep blowing the, the wind guide will guide to the uh, nozzle. And even if there's uh, some leaking air, it will blow this side, not to the semester, the temperature sensor side. So the temperature will keep going up. For your extruder, so by this way, the error message would disappear and the uh, hot end can heat up to the target temperature. Thank you for your watching.